And for two undefeated teams facing off the stadium, packed out maybe the biggest game of the area this season. One of these teams going to suffer their first loss. Panhandle had the early lead, but Stratford battled back. Bryce Braden, as he was falling to the ground, gets it off and somehow finds Julio Valdez down the field. That sets up the Elks in the red zone. From there, Israel Icon takes it in for six. Stratford starting to steal the momentum, and they weren't done. A little trickery from the Elks. A double reverse pass. Chase Latin my finds Abraham Ortega for the touchdown. The Elks starting to dominate over Panhandle. They hold the lead, and they would not let up. Bryce Braden, the star quarterback for Stratford, he shows off his athleticism, breaks a few tackles, gets around the edge of this Panhandle defense and into the end zone. The Elks stay undefeated. They take the victory 34 to 24 over Panhandle. Let's go down to the field for postgame with Lance Leonard and the Elks. Hey, I'm Lance Leonard here at the Channel 10 Sports Game of the Week. It's the Battle of Unbeatens here in Panhandle. Stratford versus Panhandle. Great, great district game. Wonderful Texas high school football game. Great atmosphere here. It is Stratford winning 34-24. Panhandle got out early 9 to nothing, but the Elks came back, scored 21 an unanswered, and got the job done. We're with John Murphy, head football coach of Stratford, along with Bryce Braden, the quarterback, junior quarterback. Guys, what a game. Take, take us through what you thought the key was after you got down 9-0. Well, there was a few things. The first thing that we really needed to do was just take away the negative plays. We had some things that we did early that just, just weren't very characteristic of what we wanted a football team to be like. And once you take that away, we had a chance to improve. But the thing is, our defense held us Our defense held us up. We needed to go into the locker room with something to hang our hat on, and our defense was fantastic for us. And so we went in at half and got to adjust a little bit. But hats, hats off to my defense, man. Those guys played great. Yeah, what a great atmosphere here, Bryce. Uh, but you guys answered the bell tonight. T take me into what you thought was the difference tonight. I think just we were familiar with rising up to adversity just because we've done it earlier in the year, and we were just familiar with it, and we were able to do that tonight. 22nd regular season win in a row. How's that sound? Sounds pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got the victory jacket on. You respecting that? You're looking good, man. You're okay. looking great. All right. Hey, what a wonderful, wonderful game tonight. Uh, Stratford remains undefeated at 7-0. Panhandle still a very good team at 6-0. Let's toss it back to the wrap-up and the Fantastic Four. What a game you guys saw out here tonight. Coach Murphy was looking at you funny there, Lance. Six and one now, <laughs> the Panhandle Panthers get handed their first loss. And, you know, Lance gave it to both of us. He was right. Dane Ashley pumped us up. We he both did. picked Panhandle. He but... did. We both picked Panhandle this week. Dane Ashley can pump anybody up. He pumped us up. Yeah. And he nearly pumped his team up to a yeah. win. But 10-point loss there. Still a good good showing by the Panthers. Absolutely. Let's get into more highlights. Absolutely. Let's go to Palo Duro tonight at Dick Bivens Stadium. Palo Duro looking to start District 2-0 and for the first time in nine years. Abilene Cooper has something to say about it. First drive of the game, it's picked off by Xavier Alexander. His return would go almost all the way to the end zone, but it gets stopped. Sets up a nice touchdown run for Daniel Bray. The Cougars would get up 14-0 in the first quarter of this game before the Dons start to claw back. Amaria James punches it in to put them on the board. And here's quarterback Darian Lewis. He's making up for his interception earlier. Check this out. He's playing like Travis Kelsey with Taylor Swift in the crowd. Lewis takes it 66 yards all the way to the house. Taylor Swift was not at Dick Bivens Stadium tonight, just for clarity. But the Cougars were saving off the Dons for a 28-21 victory. Well, Darian Lewis must have been showing off for somebody because that was impressive. Meanwhile, Caprock traveling down to Lubbock to take on the Monterey Plainsman. Caprock's ball, but not for long as it is fumbled and recovered by Monterey. Plainsman take possession, and Luke Arrington hands it off to Desmond Williams. He finds the gap. That's enough for a first down. Plainsman just were too much for Caprock in this one. Dominate the action 45 to 10, the victory for Monterey. Well, Amarillo High last night was welcoming Coronado to Dick Bivens Stadium. The Sandys looking to get going in district play. They got started early. First offensive snap of the game. Will Flaming airs it out deep to Oliver Parsons. 60-yard touchdown. That opens up the action for Amarillo High early in the game. Later, though, in the first quarter, it would be Eddie Impala. He's going to take the handoff, and he takes it in for another score. The Sandys were unstoppable in this game. They couldn't be stopped firing on all cylinders later in the quarter. Down by the goal line this time. Will Flaming's just going to take it himself, but check out 
got the spin move, gets by the Mustangs defender for another touchdown, flaming over 200 yards of offense in the first half. Sandys get a big win, 66-14. Alyssa Riley, the Sandys are 3-1 and one in district. That is very exciting. We usually come up with something witty to say here, but Preston <laughs> threw in a Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey joke, so... Oh, yeah, no, whenever he threw that in, my, my jaw just dropped. Great job, great job. We appreciate that being fellow Swifties over here. Um, but we will have some more scores and highlights for you when we come back on the wrap-up. Bobcats, you're watching.